I have with me today Dr. Jing Kai, a research fellow at the Institute for Sinology at Yonsei University and associate of the Asia Institute. Welcome, Dr. Jing Kai. Thank you. So I'd like to ask you first, why do you think it is that this confrontation with North Korea lasting from the Cold War is still with us today? Well, I think the reason is obvious. This is a game and test of will not only uh, you know, uh, the substantial nuclear threats from North Korea and the so-called imperialist invasion from the US and South Korea. This is right. a game of will. Right, right. So what do you think in term, in a long-term resolution to this problem, this crisis, what do you think needs to be done? What are the conditions for a true resolution? There can hardly be any true resolution to solve this problem easily. Right. And uh, well, putting simply, compromise, reconciliation among major powers, Absolutely. not only between North Korea and, and the U.S., but also among the other major powers. Right. And the point is to not make any other extra request within these so-called six-party talks. You know, the Japanese, the Russian, and the U.S., and the right. South Korea, and the Chinese, they all have different reasons to join, but not make it clear for denuclearization. And, uh, but the point is, uh, it is approaching very quickly, so we have to do something right now. When you say a critical point, you yes. mean a, a serious sort of conflict or yes. a, between the United States and, and North Korea in yes. general? Right, well that's, that's an excellent point. On the Chinese side, how do Chinese perceive the North Korean issue? Well, my view may not you know, rep represent the mainstream views mm -hmm. in China, but I do believe uh, it really depends on how people evaluate the influence China has over North Korea. It right. has a very great influence in the past, but no, we don't have great influence right now. Right. And uh, so don't blame China for everything. China has been actually marginalized right. in the nuclear crisis issue. You know, all the evolution of the situation Maybe does not seem to be closely related to Chinese behaviors. What's well, between North Korea and the U.S.? Absolutely, at, at multiple levels. Yeah. Had a chance to read a little bit of the American media and talk with American experts. How do you think Americans are perceiving the North, the North Korea issue? Basically, uh, the U.S. has a very realistic view on North Korea. Right. So about not only on its nuclear program, but also on the regime. Right. Right. Even if I, the, the evil regime or sort of seem like that, but I don't think that's a very con constructive way to deal with North Korea. So the problem is uh, to change from uh, Clinton administration's engagement right. to Bush's administration, you know, totally different uh, approach. Right. And now the strategic patience. Right. I don't think that's a very constructive way to deal with North Korea. Absolutely. Patience, keep silence. Now that's not good. So, in terms of a long-term resolution, it seems to me that we really need both the United States and, and China to be committed at a higher level in terms of an agreement uh, to limit, as you mentioned, focus on non-proliferation, right? Not be distracted by other issues, uh, but also in the sense to let the North Koreans themselves, North and South Koreans have their own uh, dialogue about the other issues uh, for their own unification. Yes. Well, I think there are two very fundamentally important issues in, right. the, whole, in the whole issue. One is uh, denuclearization, the right. second is peace. Right. And, well, I think uh, maybe the second one is a more uh, critical issue, because right. uh, all the regional of this kind of nuclear issue has originated from the conflicts between North Korea and the U.S. regarding right. the peace and right. security. Very true. In a sense, if you're moving towards peace, then the fact that you have nuclear weapons is not such a threatening fact. You can, you can have nuclear weapons and just have them sit there. Uh, but if you're not moving towards peace, then every action becomes potentially threatening. Yes. Well, thank you very much for joining thank us today. You. Thank you. And we look forward to meeting everybody again soon to talk about other critical issues in Northeast Asia.